Hi everyone, it's Shay here. Uh, today I'll be teaching you the ground float trick, but on PC controls. You're gonna have to bear with me in this video because I'm very, very unaccustomed to PC controls only. So I have a mouse and a keyboard all set up. So without further ado, we'll just get right into it. So when floating furnishings, there's a couple things you have to keep in mind. One is some some furnishings you have to start lower to the ground too than others, and the other uh, thing you have to keep in mind is that each furnishing in the game has a height requirement. You'll see what I mean here in a little bit. So from my inventory, since PC controls have to click and drag, I just click to make the object appear. And from here, we're just going to left click on the mouse and then hit escape to make it float. So click escape. And you can see that I've already got it floating. So I'm going to put this back in my inventory. I'm going to place this stage panel from here. Okay, now I'm going to move the object behind like so. So you can see where it is here. You've got a tiny bit of space. It's not too bad. So after this, we're gonna use this Riviera wall shelf. I'm just gonna click to make it reappear. And we're gonna put it up one notch. And again, it's left click, escape. Um, luckily it returned to our inventory. Keep in mind, in order to float an object, anything you're trying to float with has to come from your inventory. It cannot be in storage. It must be in inventory. So we're going to float it again, a little bit higher this time. So up one notch, left click, escape. We're just gonna place the item back in our bag here. Then left click, escape. And there's faster ways to do this with keybinds, but I'm just using raw PC controls for, uh, so everybody can. get what I'm doing here. Okay. Put that back in our inventory. Okay, it's at a good height right now. So after we put this back and we attempt to put this object back as well, which is the stage panel. Here, I'm just gonna remove that like so. We're going to hit rotate, we're going to grab this item, and we're just going to rotate it however we want in the air. It's just a simple click and drag. Super easy. No fuss, no muss. Um, after that, you can just escape the housing menu. You can see it's, it's still floating. It's not going anywhere. So say, uh, this item is a little bit different in that you don't have to move it up in baby steps like we did with the mounted bookshelf. Instead what we can do, let me reopen housing menu, is we just grab our open shelf bookcase. Don't do any pre-rotations on this. For whatever reason you can't rotate before you place it. Um, at least for me, I can't. So, we're gonna place cancel. You can see I got it up. So we're gonna get this out of the way. Now from here, we're just gonna use this oriental round table. We're gonna place, and then escape. And it's just going right on up. Okay, 
looks like it's at a good height. Let's get it a little bit higher here. That looks good. So we're going to remove that. We're going to select rotate again. We're going to grab this object. We're just going to grab this rotate wheel. And we're just going to place that. You can rotate it however or little you want. Um, just keep in mind you do have to rotate it to get it stuck in the air. So now I'm going to float this chair. And for this furnishing, it can move up in larger steps than the previous two I showed you. So we're just going to go straight for the Oriental Round Table. Some furnishings float really easy, some really just don't. So it's, again, it's a left click and hit the escape button. You can just see it moved right on up. We're going to do the same thing. Now you don't have to have the centers of each furnishing aligned, but for some it really does help. In others you can get away with not lining it up directly. So a click escape. We're going to get rid of that. We're going to get rid of that. Now, um, you can leave this floating at glade table height. Um, for most chairs in the game, they float at this height, but no lower. However, stools will often float at oriental table height, so you only need to get them this high off the ground before they'll just stay in the air. So again, we're going to select this object, and then rotate it like so. So um, I will be linking a document in the description of every furniture piece in the game that has a certain height requirement, whether it's super high or super low to the ground. So moving right along, we're going to float this, these pile of books. Remember, you don't want to like pre-rotate your furniture. I'm actually going to click return object inventory here. Let's click escape. You can see I escaped so fast out of the housing menu, it didn't register that I placed the item, but it will still register this to float, which is great. It's, it's what you want. Um, so from here, we're actually going to use a stage panel. And we're just going to place that item. We're going to select our rotate option here. It might be good there. Uh, let's move it back just a tiny bit. Okay. Now we're going to select our Riviera wall shelf. You can see it kind of glitching through the books, which is fine. But we're just gonna place cancel. And it did move up a little bit. So we're just going to put this back in our inventory and grab it again. We're going to float it a little bit higher. Please cancel. Just going to grab it. We're going to do it again. Please cancel. We're going to get rid of that. We're going to get rid of that. And we're going to grab this Hinken wardrobe. You can see it's already at uh, Hingen wardrobe height, which is fine. But we're going to place cancel. And it moved back down just a hair. Which, that's totally fine. But you have to keep in mind that with certain furnishings that have a height requirement, this is a general unit of measurement in the guide. And it means that this item cannot float any lower than this height where this furniture is at. That's very important. So remember to get the object to stay. We just need to rotate it. Easy. And we'll just put this back. Now for the... Um, excuse me, camera. For this rug, it has a huge height requirement. Um, it has to be pretty, pretty decently high off the ground in order for it to stay floating. So we're going to grab it, this oriental table, and with rugs you typically 
um, move it. You can move in larger steps. So we're just gonna place cancel. Easy peasy. I'm gonna grab a round stage. Remember to leave the housing menu fast. I'm gonna grab this hanging wardrobe. Please cancel. And we're gonna get rid of some of these items that are in the way. Now I noticed a lot of people had concerns about the Charlene uh, wardrobe. Or I guess this is a Charlene cabinet. Yeah, it's a Charlene cabinet. This is a Eureka item. You cannot find it on the market board, uh, but it is tradable, so don't freak out. And anybody who's done Eureka even once will probably want to get rid of it. But it is a good uh, minor height out of all the cabinets that I've worked with. Um, so we're just going to place cancel. You can see that it moved up. We're going to get rid of this. And we're going to grab this item. I'm gonna switch my camera so you guys can see what I'm doing here. And we're just gonna rotate it in any direction we want. Easy. Alright, so now to make sure all of your items are gonna stay, all we are going to do is we are going to exit the housing menu, and I can't interact with it because I don't use PC controls. It's outside the building, there we go. <laughs> Please excuse me for my PC inexperience. I'm very not used to these controls, but a lot of people requested a PC guide. So after you exit the building, we're just gonna go right back in. And as you can see, all furnishings are floating. So remember, move this one up in very small baby steps. Uh, move this one. You can move this one's up in like intermediate baby steps. This one's just straight intermediate steps. Um, with a low height requirement. That's important to note. Uh, this one has a high-ish requirement, and this these rugs have a huge height requirement. So if you're having trouble getting things to stay off the ground, um, do make sure that you have met the item's height requirement. Um, I think that's it. So if you have any other questions, please let me know in the comments or if there are things you didn't understand. There will be that document in the description. Uh, please keep an eye out uh, on my channel for more tutorial videos. And I will see you guys later.